We've saved the last. <laughs> nope, we've saved the last, we've saved one, the for last the one for the best. <laughs> Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go. We are at our originating place. This is where we got our RV, mm -hmm. like almost two years ago. We're at Dodd RV in Yorktown, Virginia, yep. and we came back here to take a look at all of the 2019 bunkhouse models that Grand Design has. They have reflections, there are transcends back here. There are, uh, imagines, there are imagines solitude. back here, solitude. Yeah, so we're gonna go and we're gonna look at every single bunkhouse that they have on the lot right now, and we're gonna give you kind of our two cents for each one. Yeah. Let you know some things we like, some things maybe we don't like, mm -hmm. our recommendations for trucks or anything else like that. So let's get to it. Here we go. This is a Grand Design Reflection 285 BHTS. It has one slide and a lot of similarities to our RV. The bathroom is exactly the same as ours. The master bedroom is almost the same as ours. Their cabinet that they have in the corner where we have our washer and dryer is not as deep and they have three drawers instead. But lots of storage and it's a nice front. The first thing that I noticed in this RV is just how much space you have in the living area. There's no island in here to kind of get in your way. It's really nice if you have young children because they have a place that they can kind of make their own during the day. There's lots of counter space in the kitchen. You don't really need the island. There's a flip up here to help with, I would think, drying your dishes. And then lots of cabinets and drawers and more cabinets up there. There's also this nice U-shaped dinette that does fold down into a bed, but kind of offers nice seating for kids when you're watching TV as a family. There's easy access to the storage underneath the dinette. And the refrigerator is in an easy, convenient place as well. This is also nice. There's only one slide in this rig. And so on travel days, this is the only thing that comes in to probably about here. So you can still get to the kitchen. You can um, get to the refrigerator. You can get to the bathroom. No problem at all. While this model doesn't technically have a bunk house, as I would define it, it does have two full-size bunks and a solid door and you guys know how much we love a solid door on the bunkhouse there's a significant amount of storage up here you have a closet as well as three drawers and then a fourth drawer in the step up the beds are pretty big especially if you have little ones that could possibly share a bed you could fit three kids up here i would think Okay, so on the outside of this 285 BHTS, we have this huge like trunk. This is actually underneath that bottom bunk in the back. And then the water heater and stuff are over behind this wall. But this is a like, this is big. Like you got lots of room in there. I can see easily storing the kind of stuff that we have. Uh, then around this side, there's a teeny tiny little half kitchen. There's like a little baby like cube fridge. There's a pull out grill or pull out burners. It's kind of similar to ours. Um, and then just a little netted storage area here. I do like the outlets being out here. If you need to you know, work outside on a laptop or something, that's right there. Another thing, one thing we don't like about our rig that this one does not suffer from is there is no slide on this side. So this awning, you get all of the space under this awning. We have a big slide coming out and it blocks a lot of the light and a lot of the space to sit under the awning. But with this one out, You'd be able to sit out here, work on your laptop or whatever. No slide getting in the way. You'd have all of the light from the lights under the awning. That would be fantastic. Uh, and then up towards the front, like Aaron said, this is basically our rig from here to the front. So that's the window on the bedroom. And then it's got this full pass-through basement. And then over here on the other side of the pass-through, we have the Nautilus panel. It's exactly like we have. It has these little flip-up guys here that you can run the hoses in and then keep this all closed and locked and secured. That's about it. So this is the 285 BHTS. I like this model a lot. Uh, it does weigh a little bit less than ours empty. It is about seven and a half thousand and then gross is about nine and a half thousand. So I would say 250 or higher. I mean, empty, you could pull it with a 150, but maybe with some mods, but I would be much more comfortable in like a 250 or 2500 or higher. 
because uh, you're going to have this thing fully loaded. So that's uh, not super heavy, but it's, I don't think, light enough for half ton. This is the Imagine 2800BH. So not a bunk house, but it does have two large bunks and a bathroom without a pocket door. So you actually get some storage on the door. This bathroom is a little different. It doesn't have a permanent door. It has kind of this slide thing. And while this would be fine, I think for older kids and adults, I don't know how well my littles would do with this kind of door. And not destroying it. And not destroying <laughs> it. It's one thing I don't really like about this one, but I really like the rest of this rig. It has a, a nice layout, good seating here. You're right across from the television. These are the same seats that we have in, in our 312 and lots of storage in here. Deep closets for our deep pantry. And these are nice. I like the glass on the windows mm -hmm. there. And then this has kind of a U dinette. If you want this dinette to just be a booth, you can keep the table pushed in, or you can pull it out and have a U-shaped dinette, or turn it. You can do it that way. Just one big slide on this trailer. So it's easy access to the restroom if you're traveling or at a Walmart overnight. And there's a second door in this one as well. So you can have access to the bedroom if the slide is pulled in. This is a full queen bed, a full sized queen bed. And there are two AC units in here. We don't even have that on ours. Okay, on the outside of this 2800BH, we have, again, another small kitchen, a little cube fridge, and a uh, pull out stove top here. A uh, little bit of storage, so kind of exactly like the other one. Uh, then as we move forward, so this was the rear door. This is the forward door that goes into the master bedroom. There's an outlet here and what appears to be a fresh water fill here. Up here in the nose, there's the pass-through storage, similar to ours. It's actually pretty, I think it's actually bigger than ours. Mm -hmm. It feels taller than the storage in ours. Uh, and then we go around the other side. Over here on the other side, we have um, not a Nautilus panel. I guess that's the next level up. Uh, but we do have the battery disconnect, your cable in satellite in, and then your water connection here, and then a sprayer on the outside. There was also a sprayer on the other side, a little flip open door at the back of the rig where you could hook up a sprayer like this. And in terms of towing this thing, you could easily tow this with a half ton because unloaded it is 6,600 and gross is just under 8,000. So most half tons go up to 9, 94, 9,600 pounds. So this is easily a half ton RV. This is an Imagine 3170BH. This is a new RV for me. This Imagine has a bunkhouse, like a true bunkhouse, and a huge solid door, pocket door that opens and closes. There's a large bunk up here on the top that easily fits a preteen or a teenager even, and a low bunk here, a high bunk up here, and the couch. So if you have three kids like we do, you don't have to take the couch out in order to get three beds. This is really nice. I like this model a lot. And there's the barrel ceilings in here, so you feel taller even though it's not a super tall rig. This one is very much like the one we've been in just before with the layout in the kitchen here, um, except for the U dinette that just has a normal booth. Since this one has a bunkhouse where the bathroom was in the one before, the bathroom is here and you have to pass through it to get to the master bedroom. Normally, Brian and I don't like this style, but this one I don't mind too much. Um, there's doors on both sides so you can close it off, but then you have a front that looks similar to most master bedrooms. There is another door entry here, like the one before also, so you can get in here when that one slide is closed. I really like this model. There's not a ton of counter space in this kitchen, but you do have the flip up here to help with drying or preparing food. Okay, on the outside of this rig, um, I can't let this door open all the way because the one next to it is too close. However, we do have like kind of a full size like dorm fridge. It's very similar to the one we have. Uh, there's a couple cabinets out here. There's again, pull out burners, and I'm assuming that's a drawer. I can't reach it from here. Yep, that's Ooh, a drawer. Nice big drawer. Yeah. So this is, this is a much more uh, fully featured outside kitchen. There is no sink, however, uh, which none of these have had yet. 
All right, up here, the uh, because the front end is kind of exactly the same as the 2800BH, it's got the same pass-through, it's got the same hookups over here. Uh, this one is a little bit heavier, though, because we have the big living room slide, and we also have a slide in the bunkhouse. So this one is right at 8,000 unloaded, and then the gross is 95. So half ton with modifications, or if you don't load it up, would probably be okay. Personal preference for me would be to get into that 250, 2500 range and up. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is the Imagine 2400 BH, very similar to the 2800 BH. So we're just gonna take a quick look around inside and kind of point out the differences. The double bunks here, same as in the 2800, bathroom exactly the same. But in order to kind of scrunch in the living space, they moved the refrigerator to the other side, got rid of the dinette, and made this a longer theater seating with this attachable table. And so this will be your eating space and your viewing TV space. Kitchen looks pretty much the same. And this is again, a queen size bed, a full size. So confusing to say that. Hey, let me hop in real quick and clarify what we're talking about with these queen mattresses. Uh, the full size queen, a proper queen, like if you go to a normal mattress store and buy a queen size bed, it is 60 inches by 80 inches long. Some RV queens will be 60 inches wide, but they're only 74 inches long. That six inches makes a big difference when you're six feet tall like me or even taller. Right. So when we say a full size queen, we mean 60 by 80, like a queen you would have in a house. Right. Okay, on the outside real quick, it is pretty much exactly the same as a 2800 BH. Uh, it's got the little small kitchen in the back, and then it's got the big pass-through with the regular hookups. In terms of weight, they definitely shaved some weight off of the 2800. So this 2400 BH is 58 unloaded and then fully loaded about 7500. So you are well into half-ton territory. So you could pull this with an F-150 or a 1500, no problem whatsoever. This is a really cool little guy. This is an Imagine XLS 21 BHE. This is empty, I think it's 4,600 pounds, and then fully loaded 59. So you can pull this pretty much with anything. But check out how much they packed into this thing. So up here in the nose, there's actually a Murphy bed that comes down out of the wall over top of the couch. So during the day, you have a nice couch up here, you have a TV up here, and then at night, you have a full bed that pulls down. Back here, we have a dinette, we have two huge bunks for the kids, and then we have a for all intents and purposes, a full-size RV bathroom. So this thing is absolutely loaded for a super small package. This is really cool. And I bet you this is really easy to park. <laughs> this is our last travel trailer for today. This is the Grand Design Transcend 27 BHS. It is almost exactly like the Imagine 2800, but it has a couple weight saving features. One thing we noticed is it does not have fiberglass on the outside. It appears to be like a plastic or aluminum, some, something like that lighter weight. And then it also doesn't have two doors. It doesn't have the second door up in the master. So let's go inside and see what else is different. Okay, so in here, like I said, it's pretty much exactly like the 2800. It's got the big bunks to back here. It's got some storage under here. The TV is directly across from, oh, it's not recliners. So that's one difference. This appears to be a jackknife sofa, which is gonna be lighter than a pair of recliners. Uh, the bathroom is pretty much exactly the same, except there's a shower curtain instead of that roller. I think I'd rather have the shower curtain. Uh, then up this way, it's not, it's not the U dinette, it's just a standard two-sided dinette. Uh, the kitchen appears to be the same layout, however the countertop, this is a uh, laminated countertop, it's not a solid surface countertop, and it also does not have the extra like pop-out wing for more counter space. And then up in here, this is pretty much the same master. It does have a solid door. It is the full size 60 by 80 queen. But again, there isn't the extra door into here. Without that second door, I don't think you'd be able to get in here on a moving day without opening this slide. Cause I think this slide would probably come all the way out and pretty much block you out of that room. So that'd be one downside. So that's one difference from the 2800. But otherwise it's pretty much like a 2800 and just a little bit lighter. So let's go look at those numbers real quick. Okay, over here on the outside, uh, the 
basement does not appear to be as large as in the 2800 doesn't appear to be as tall and then weight wise they did shave a couple pounds off so unloaded this is 6600 and then fully loaded it is right at 8000 so you're comfortably in that half ton territory as well this is our first fifth wheel we're going to go into today this is a reflection 150 series so they're the lighter end of fifth wheels this is a 290 bh come on in this is very similar to the 285 BHTS that we looked at in the reflection travel trailers. There are just a few differences and kind of a little bit of maybe some upgrades to it since it's a fifth wheel. Do you think they are? No, the bunkhouse is a lot bigger. That's right. The kitchen area, similar, but this one has the fireplace in it like ours does, which is a nice feature. You still have the same seating and the refrigerator over here on the opposite wall. But instead of having just bunk over bunk like the 285, this has a proper bunkhouse. Full door, nice big bunk on the bottom here, and then two smaller bunks. And you can, they put a place here for you to put a TV in here with the hookup so that everybody can see. There's three drawers and storage here that you could put with baskets in here for the children. I like this bunkhouse. There's lots of windows. There's four windows in this bunkhouse. Very nice. The front is very similar to the travel trailer. You just had to come up some stairs. The bathroom is our bathroom. The door is just moved forward a bit. And then, of course, you get a little more headroom. I'm standing up on a step here. You get wall sconces in here which we don't have. These are kind of nice. There's also storage in the corner just like the 285 uh, that is similar to ours but not as deep and doesn't have the washer dryer hookups. Oh, that's mirrors. Oh, because ours are louvered huh, I don't because know the that. washer dryer's in there. Yeah. But nice big window in the bedroom also. Okay, so this guy, because it is a Reflection 150 series, they've actually kept a lot of the weight out of this. I think this thing actually weighs less than ours. <laughs> it only has one slide, so it's actually kind of small for fifth wheels. We've seen fifth wheels with five and six slides, so they can get pretty big, but this one is actually a lot lighter. Fully loaded, this is just over 10,000 pounds. So I wouldn't pull it with a half ton, but you could easily do this with a 250 single rear wheel, no problem whatsoever. Uh, just to look at the outside storage real quick, like most fifth wheels, it has pass-through storage and it's got the full nautilus like we have with all the water hookups and the valves and the diagrams and then it's got your propane tanks and the little side compartments one on either side and then it's got the, the big door down under here pretty common for fifth wheels so if you've ever looked at those you know what it's doing and then over on the other side there's also a small like little half kitchen like the reflection trailer had this reflection fifth wheel is nice this is a 31 mb reflection fifth wheel come on in it has a mid bump Let's look at the back first. So this is very similar to ours. It has our island, kind of has the same setup here with the fireplace and the TV, the convection oven. They only have a single refrigerator where ours has the double doors. This dinette is really nice. Nice U shape, everybody can sit around it. Look at these awesome windows. If you back up into a spot that's just like gorgeous, you're gonna be able to look at it from everywhere in here, which is really nice. The dinette will fold down into a bed, of course. It's also a nice place for the kids to sit and watch a family movie. But this is nice too, because we have both of the recliners on the edge, and when you flip this up, I know Tara would love to be able to sit with us on a couch and watch one of the older kind of movies that the littles don't like to watch. This one also has a pantry, which we do not have, and it's pretty deep. It's, it's similar to like the one we had in our house, which is really nice. Because you don't, you don't have the cabinets over here like we do, or over there <laughs> like we do, because they have a mid bunk in here. Check this out. You could easily sleep two kids in here. If you have smaller ones, you could probably even put them on the bottom together. I really like this. You have the nice light coming from up here, Plenty of drawers and cabinets that you could put like baskets into to organize clothes. It's a nice little space. And of course there's the TV backer here so they can kind of camp out on the beds here and watch TV if you're watching Game of Thrones in there. <laughs> and it comes with this mirror which is nice. This bathroom, same as ours. 
The storage over here in the corner is similar to ours, but again, like the other ones that we've seen, it has the three drawers instead of the two. And instead of being deep enough for the washer and dryer to go in, it's a little more shallow, shallower, and um, it has the mirrors on the door. And they have the wall sconces again. I really like those wall sconces. And a big window. Yeah, this window is really nice. We have the tiny little window in ours. Right on the outside of this 31 MB, we have uh, kind of a strange little non-kitchen. Uh, there's just a fridge, a little a cute fridge, and then some storage and an outlet, and I guess you could put a TV in here because there's cable hookup. And then up here we have a basement that's very similar to ours where it's got these uh, waterproof little containers down here with the wire pass-throughs, and it also has motion sensing lights and a big, big long pass-through with a door on the other side, and I'm assuming there's a Nautilus over there. Uh, and then again, it's fifth wheel, so we got propane here, We've got a big opening compartment here and around the other side. Got more propane over here and on the other side of the pass-through with the Nautilus. And this also has auto leveling, so the unit for that is up in here. This one is getting more into normal fifth wheel weight territory. Empty, it's just under 10,000 and then fully loaded, it's right around 12,000. You're way beyond half tons, so you're gonna want a three quarter ton, at least single rear wheel. Uh, 350 would make me more comfortable. So it's a it's a hefty unit, but certainly not as heavy as some that we've seen. We've saved the best one for last. And if you've been watching any of our other tour videos, you might be able to guess which rig this is. We've talked about it before. We're gonna go in and check out the Solitude ST3740BH. This is like the big brother to our rig. There's lots of similarities, but there's a few things that are different that are really nice. So let's go check it out. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> I love it. Look at all of these windows. It's oh, so much light. This comes with two different setups. You can get this one that has the tables that attach, and you can also get it with ta a table and um, recliners. I like this one. Brian doesn't, you know. It's not enough arms. Not enough armrests. Nice island. It's similar to ours. It's a little bit longer. It has a little bit nicer uh, countertop. And there's a pantry in this one. Nice big pantry. You still have kind of the landing pad or some people use it as a coffee bar over here by the entrance. And I love this big window. How nice is that? We just have the little one that's about this big, right there. You can kind of peek through it. This is just great. Extra storage up there. Bigger storage because there's taller ceilings in here. Come on back here to the bunkhouse. This bunkhouse could easily sleep five or six kids. Five kids with dedicated beds. You can sleep one up here, one down here. It's really dark, I'm sorry, but you, it goes back in the corner here. You could put one across this way and one in here towards the back. You could even fit two up here and then use this as extra storage. And then there's also the couch here that pulls out if you have friends spending the night. I love how much space is in here and there's a second bath. Not always a big fan of the second bath, but it does come in handy sometimes, especially when you're potty training. <laughs> Very nice bunkhouse. And with the taller ceilings too, it just feels bigger. So this bathroom is different from ours. <laughs> it's one of the first ones we've seen today that's different than ours when it's on the side. It's a lot um, deeper of a tub, so you could put the kids in there and maybe even do a bath in the ba that basin. And then there's a little more counter space here, and then you've got built-in hooks above the toilet. This is the first one we've been in today that has the east-west bed, not the north-south bed, if you're not familiar with that term. Most of the ones we've seen have been up here in the nose. This one has a slide and rolls out like this, and this is actually a king-size bed. So that's definitely nice. This closet that you can't see because it's really dark. There's no batteries. Oh, there's no batteries. Well, then that's not going to work. Um, this is like a huge cavern in here. I don't know if you can tell if I get in here. <laughs> But you can pull up one of the shelves in here and put the washer and dryer like we have in ours right in this space. And so you have a nice space that you can come and stand and load the, the washer and dryer. 
Okay, on the outside of this 3740, we have a full-size outside kitchen, and this is actually kind of similar to ours, where it's got the big door that comes up. We've got a full-size fridge. This one actually has a glass door. I guess Aaron was saying it so you can see if something's going to fall on you before you open it, because that has happened. Uh, this one is also a little different. This has a slight upgrade. Instead of burners, it's an actual grill. So you have burners underneath here, right here. It's kind of like a grill you'd have on your deck, and then it heats this up to like cook and sear whatever you're cooking on it. So that's pretty cool. I would actually probably use that more than the burners. Uh, and then kind of a a nothing area here. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then we've got cabinets up in here. This is a really big one up in the center here. And there's a sink out here. Ours has a sink. This first first sink we've seen in an outside kitchen. The bigger ones have sinks, which is it's pretty nice. We've never used ours, but we know some people that use theirs a lot. So let's go check out the front, and then we'll talk about the weight on this rig. Let's talk about the storage in this 3740. Um, I'm six feet tall, and I'm sitting in here upright like I can put my head all the way up but then you can't see me so all kidding aside this is a huge amount of storage over on the other side we're gonna have a Nautilus panel and we're gonna have the auto leveling controls and then up around the front you're gonna have the propane tanks you're gonna have the big door that opens up you can put a generator in all that normal stuff okay so like I said on the other side this is the side where the Nautilus system is there's the pass-through uh, for your hoses and cables there's the drain plugs, there's black tank, gray tank pulls, and there's also an auto leveling system on this rig. Pretty cool. Never used one myself, but I've heard they're pretty nice. You just hit a button and whoop, off it goes. Um, this is not a light rig, okay? This is a serious fifth wheel. This thing weighs 14,000 empty, and you can load it up to 16.8. So, you're way out of half ton, and you are getting pretty much out of 250, 2500 area as well. I could pull this with my F350, but I would rather have a dually or airbags in the back, just a little extra uh, support in the back because this thing is heavy. It's got a lot of heavy, like extra nice features in it, like solid countertops, porcelain toilets, extra doors. It's got four slides. This is a heavy unit, but it's a very nice unit. We absolutely love our Grand Design Reflection 312 BHTS. We do. But, but if we were to upgrade <laughs> and go bigger, that would be it right there. Yep. The 3740 is such, such a nice rig. It's like Aaron said earlier, it is the kind of the bigger brother. It's the, the big jump up from what we mm -hmm. had into a fifth wheel. However, it's really big. It is really big. <laughs> it is really big and yep. not really in our future, but no. If we were able to do it, we might be able to do it. Nah, we're happy where we are. Because <laughs> I got to tow it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Very heavy. Very yeah. heavy, but a really nice rig. And, and actually, all of these are very nice in their own ways. Mm -hmm. We saw some interesting rigs today. So we did. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us, looking at all these Grand Design bunk houses. And comment down below and let us know what your favorite was. Or if you're looking at one of these and want to know a little bit more about it, just let us know and we'll see what we can find out for you. Or if you already have one, oh, yeah. tell us what you love about yours. Yeah. We'd love to know. Yep. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and all those things. We've been doing a lot of writing on our website, 5 togocom a lot of tips a lot of lists, a lot of travel things. Mm -hmm. So go check that out. And if you want to join our family, check us out on patreon.com slash five to go. And you can see a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of interesting and funny things happen when we're filming these videos. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to see that, go check that out over there and we will see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys.